Hey guys, Matt here with you, and I got myself one of these DeWalt Thickness Planner. So we're going to try it out. I'm going to try it out with some of this white oak 2 by stock that's from Pallets at Work. See how it does. What a sweet piece of equipment. All right, let's do an actual frame. Alright, there's one of our frames, milled down to one and three quarter in one dimension. Now let's dimension it in the other dimension. So this looks like it's two and a quarter on one end. Set that at two and a quarter. Let's see what happens. Okay, one beautiful white oak frame. It's got a little bend to it, but I think that'll be fine. So, I got four more of these to do, so I'm gonna shut you off, because you don't wanna see all that. Catch up with you when I'm done. All right, so this is the last one that I'm doing today. You can see it's kind of a grungy looking piece, so I have this side mostly plain. So I'm just gonna take all the rest off. It's at about two inches right now, so I gotta get down to an inch and a quarter, or inch and three quarters, rather. So I'm gonna take all the rest off of this side. And you just do maybe a finishing pass in the other. All right, uh, this one may not be usable for a full length frame. So we have a knot right there, and we'll see. All right, so here's those five that I cut before. One that's longer, because there's a small section with a long cutout. That one looks pretty good. Little knot up there, kind of goes through to there. A little bit of a knot down there, but it's inside. This one has a knot there. Another one there. Another part of one there. All right, guys. First impressions of the DeWalt DW735 thickness planner. Freaking awesome. Um, you know, what more do you want for 650? Got this off Amazon. It was a combo with the, ta the removable table pieces and a spare set of blades. I will say though, I am going to look into a helical cutter for this because I'm gonna be doing a lot of planing and I can see these wearing out fairly quickly and having to resharpen them or replace them fairly often. All right, I've got all this various oak right here that I have to rip some nails out of and uh, work on before I can plane it down. I've got a Crescent Tools 11 inch nail puller plier. Let's get to it. Now these big timbers. 
probably at least a couple frames per. Sledgehammer on a claw. That shirt right off. Shoot it right off. Okay. Just have to cut them off, I guess. Alright, let's see how long this piece is. Alright, that should suffice. 89 inches. So I'm gonna get these two old reclaimed beams from some sort of shipping skid or whatever, fed through the thickness planer, and we'll see how they look. All right, got the thickness planer out. I've got four pieces of white oak from pallet gates from work. This stuff is all old growth fir from a drafting table my dad disassembled. I think I'm gonna use that instead of uh, the old planks for the routed out sections around the old screw holes in the planks, because fir is a outstanding planking material. So we'll plant a few of those down to inch and a quarter. Those will go down to inch and three quarter. These two oak two bys are going down to inch and three quarter. This is the off cut from the other stuff I did. That'll just be plain smooth. And these are gonna be plain smooth on all sides. Then I'm gonna figure out how I wanna rip them once I get them plain and I can get a better look at the wood underneath. You know, being reclaimed timber from a place where work goes on, it's like this sludgy, oily crap. A few surfaces of this one timber. They make skid marks all over the machine. I'll get that cleaned up. On those big timbers, I'm not gonna do much else on them until I rip them in two, make two frames each out of them. So I'm gonna mill down some smaller stuff. Yeah, I think definitely helical cutters and the cards. Let me go get this cutter swapped out. 
All right, I got the blades on there flipped around so there's a fresh cutting face on them. And uh, yeah, let's go back to planning. Four short deck beam pieces. Yeah, that's at like an inch and a sixteenth, so we'll leave that there. All right. Inch and a quarter. I think I can use this for scarfing over butt joints too. So we'll just work a bunch of this stuff. Ah, that fur smells nice. Good planking wood. Nice. All right, we got more of this alleged stuff from U.S.'s Constitution. Um, I'm not gonna cut this into lengths, but I'm going to plane it down just so it's ready and can be cut up easily. All right, that's a nice slab of oak. We'll leave that one be. That's planed down enough for us to mill it into whatever we need it for. So what I'm gonna do is rip these down the middle. Um, I think I am going to plane this surface, these surfaces of this one just so that I can get something with some semblance of levelness. I go to mark it out. All right, yeah, these pieces are just too big for this planer to handle, unfortunately. So you gotta know your limits, so I'm gonna have to rip those down. All right, so I'm gonna get those two pieces that I just cut uh, planed down, and then I think I'm gonna stop for tonight because it's getting to be dinner time. Yeah, it's six o'clock, so I, I best be getting done. So get that done. There is a decent white oak two by four. So I'll figure out what I'll do with this later. For now, it's dinner time. See you tomorrow. It's an overview of what I'm what I'm doing here because I, I don't think I was entirely clear in the last video. So the reason why I'm doing demolition up here is because I'm going to be replacing frames and stanchions on the starboard side here. In order to do that, the cap rail has to, had to come off. In order to get the cap rail off, the chain plates had to come off. And then I'll have to pull the exterior bulwark plank and the interior bulwark plank so that I can get to the top of these structural members. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm milling the lumber for replacement frames and stanchion pieces. So, and I'll show you what I'm going for with the um, plank repair method that I'm gonna be using. So this is Wooden Boat Magazine, March, April 24. All right, so this is the article highlighting what I'm gonna be doing to repair the plank. So you can see they use the router and the jig to hog out these pockets and then they make little, they call them lozenges that they can then epoxy down into 
the holes and the frames go over and then they can run their fasteners back through. And then it has, you know, various things. So that's the methodology I'm going to be using to repair those iron sick fastener holes in the planks. And at, at this point, whether or not I actually have to replace sections of planking is kind of not germane. The planking is largely good enough. I can splice in new sections on the edges. Uh, obviously the butt block areas like this catastrophe here are going to be deleted scarfed in um <clears throat> i'll try to link the short video that uh, lowell's boat shop posted specifically for me to explain how this is done so i'll try to link that in here and yeah so that's what we're doing right now i have more lumber to mill out uh so let me get set up get the thickness planer out and i will see you guys in a second all right this is that two by i made up last night i marked out two inch section and i'll plane that down from there i have about an inch and a half on the top portion. So I'm not gonna try to thickness plane that down. So, yeah. The frame piece. Got a little bit of rot up here, but that should be fine. I'll get that plane down. And then we have another potentially usable piece right here. There's frame number six. Reclaim lumber. All right, plane that inch and three quarter. This area up here has a little bit of a somewhat spongy area, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad, big of a deal. All right, so I'm gonna get this measured out and we'll get it ripped down to two inches. Hey, Fanya. What? Fanya, I'm gonna start running this thing. You need to get out of there. <laughs> This one's a bit sketchy. So I don't know how usable that is. I might be able to treat that. This this spongy area looks like it goes all the way through. I guess what do you want for free oak, right? <clears throat> Just ripping off some bad ends and some of this white oak stock that I have. Some mushrooms growing on this one. So we're gonna rip that back three inches. Of course, those mushrooms are long dead. good underneath. It's horrible there. Let's get this guy cleaned up on the planter. Cutting it close, but it's a 13 inch planter. That's like 12 and a half, so. a little bit much for this planter so we'll... yeah, nice piece of oak all right guys so you know how i said i was going to look into a helical cutter head for this thing here's why nick and the blade right there nick right there these blades are already super dull and i just flipped them around to a fresh edge yesterday i'm not going to muck around with this any longer i'm going to have to bite the bullet and get a helical cutter head for it because these suck thankfully i do I do have two more sets of cutting edges in these blades, so it'll last me a little while. But for this heavy milling on heavy, dense, large dimensional wood, it's it, this, this is not great. This is more set up for like a hobbyist uh, or somebody who's just working with like pine or fur or whatever. But for boat right work, we need to upgrade this. All right. Ugh. So for steaming the frames, my dad actually got me this Rockler steam bending kit. It's basically one of those um, car uh, wallpaper steamer sort of things. And then you build a box. And so at work, I have access to a bunch of uh, wide pine plank boards that are about eight feet ish long that I can make. I'm going to make probably an eight and a half, nine foot steam box. I don't know if this thing's going to have the, the cojones to uh, get inch and three quarter square uh, frames steamed up. So what I also have is this big like turkey fryer propane burner. And I've tested this thing and it does work. So what I can do is just get like a big uh, pressure cooker and just fill it with water 
turn it on, maybe put some insulation around the outside, and then run a steam hose off the top of that into the steam box I make, if that little carpet steamer thing doesn't, or wallpaper steamer doesn't end up being adequate. I don't know, I might plane down a couple of these boards. I don't know, that, that might be red oak, so I don't know, we'll see. Got a new, new cutters on the head of that thing. We're gonna look into a helical cutter head because I'm gonna be burning through knives. So I'm already on my second set and I've only owned this thing since last Monday. It's now Sunday. So I've had it for less than a week and I've already gone through a set of knives. So that needs to be addressed. It's like 400 bucks for a good three row uh, helical cutter head, but I think it'll be well worth it. All right, anyway, I'm gonna run those two bys through here and see what I end up with. Pretty nice looking stuff once it's run through the planter. Got all this cracking down the middle here, but it's a little fun to use for that. All right, this thing is way twisted, but honestly that's fine because there's a bunch of insect damage from the end of it all the way to about here. So I'm gonna take the skill saw and just lop it off like right here. Got the bad section off the end of that, so this should be a lot easier to plane. Of course, that precludes this piece from being used for frames, really. Except maybe real far aft. So we got four foot two and a half, four foot two and three eighths, something like that. Find a use for it. It's actually a nice clear piece of oak. Definitely find a use for that. All right, I'm gonna mark out, measure out, and do all that fun stuff, and we'll get this guy ripped in half. All right, let's rip this piece. All right, I've got maximum depth on the saw right now, three inches, and then I'll back it off to about an inch when I go to do the next cut on the other side. I have it marked off in both. Let's get them planed down. All right, these guys are much better quality stock. So we'll cut off the portion with these knots. It's fairly clear white oak. Get a knot right there. And then on this one too, we'll take it, take the frame out of the bottom of this. Beautiful stuff. That other piece wasn't too great. This is nice. All right, so I'll mark this all up, get the skill saw ready. Oh, by the way, this Harbor Freight saw is decent, but my dad, who uh, doesn't really do much carpentry anymore, but used to be a union carpenter, has an old 1970s or 1980s American made worm drive skill saw. The next time he's down, he's gonna be giving that to me. And so we'll be able to put this thing away. I might uh, convert this into a bevel saw for the planks. If I have, cause I'm gonna have to be replacing the garbards and maybe the second broad strike on the bottom. Um, but I'll need a beveling saw so I can convert this thing to the bevel saw and then use the uh, skill saw for ripping. So once I get that, I will um, see, check the model number, see what brushes it needs. I already got some more lubricant for it and we'll get that thing all tuned up and ready to go. All right, two beautiful white oak frames. All right, guys. So I'm done milling up the frames that I have stock for. One piece had like a rot spot that was spongy on the top, and then the discoloration went down all the way through. So I don't know. I don't know if that's gonna be suitable. All right, guys. I think that's it for this episode. Um, <clears throat> we've got a, lump, a lot of lumber milled down, um, nine frames in total. So that's enough to get pretty much all of the most rotted ones right here along the starboard side good to go. So I'll count that as, as a success. Um, so yeah, stay tuned next week for more on this because we do have to get all of this disassembled up top so we can access the frames down below. And I got to build a, a um, steam box, which is forthcoming. I have access to the lumber I'll need, so I just have to bring that home from work. It's in the form of an old workbench that needs to be disassembled and brought home. So that I'm pretty burned out. Gotta get the boat covered. We got uh, rain coming through tonight. You can see it's kind of getting a little gray. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. And it helps the channel too. Um, we wanna keep this thing growing. 
and uh, just uh, yeah I appreciate all of you and uh, with that catch you guys next week this has been Matt We're saving this old boat one little bit at a time see ya